All right, we're at the fuel island here at Double D. I want to show you how to use this um, fuel system. Also going to show you a common issue you might run into when fueling. Third, something that you can do with the DEF if you run into an issue. Very first though, point out to you that there are these signs up here that explain the rules of the fuel island as well as how to handle that issue when you run into it. So please check that if you're having problems. So to begin, you're going to enter in your driver ID, of course, in order to get your fuel. Do that, then it's gonna ask for your vehicle number. Um, we use unique suffixes in order to enter in your vehicle. So find out what that is if you don't know. Enter in your actual odometer. Please do not guess or put zero. Enter in the actual odometer and then choose your pump number. Then it's gonna activate the dispenser. So first thing to point out, now that it's active, you need to allow the pump to prime. So let's pretend like I'm setting this in my fuel tank. Ta-da! Now I lift this up and I need to wait at least five seconds so that the pump can prime. And if you have good hearing, you can actually listen for the click. Once it clicks, you're good to go. But otherwise, just wait five seconds. Otherwise, you might start pumping and you're like, oh, it's broken or we're out of fuel because it's only going like a gallon a minute. That's not the problem. It's that the pump didn't get its prime. If you run into that, you just have to start over. You'll have to put this down, put this back in, and then you'll have to re-enter all your information and allow it to prime. Even then, on a very cold morning, even if you do the five seconds, sometimes it might not get as prime. You just gotta do it again. It's frustrating, but if you know that, at least you know how to avoid it. So that's how you get fuel. After that, you can fuel using both sides, of course. If you also wanna get deaf, you can get deaf while you're getting fuel. You don't select another option, you just come back and you're gonna re-enter all your information. And then if I want deaf, please note, choose pump four. So I'm gonna do pump four, enter, and I'm activated. Now I can come over to the deaf system, open up my little door, pull this out. Please follow all the signs. Do not pull on the dispenser like I'm doing right now. You will rip the hose off. Grab here and pull behind that little hose keeper there. I have fixed this problem many times, so I don't think it's gonna happen, but if you're having an issue getting fuel with the death pump, make sure this little guy here, that goes down, and then it flips up to turn on your pump. So if you're like, it's not pumping, make sure that's flipped up. I don't think it'll be a problem now, but just so you know. Then you're able to get deaf. When you're done, of course, come and hang it up nicely. And close the door so that it keeps the heat in there so the deaf doesn't freeze. Other than that, you're welcome to use the window wash buckets. You're welcome to use the vacuum. You'll notice that our fuel island's clean. You notice that the gloves I used, they're clean. They don't have oil or grease on them. Please help us keep this place clean and we will keep it clean for you as we can. If you got any questions, please let us know. I think that's it.